I find it weird that in 2019, still in business, um, we, we make a distinction between creative people and non-creative people. And nowhere is that clearer than in the advertising agency, where the two main roles are you are either a creative or you are an accounts person, which kind of makes it sound that once you're on the account side, you're not a creative. Now here's my problem with that. By making that distinction, a lot of people think that creativity is this special thing that's in our DNA which you either have or you don't have. That it's pure nature, you're either born with it or you're not. And I think that is nonsense. I think we all have the capability to do many creative things. I just think we put it on one big blurry pile of what we consider creativity and creative people. So to us, creativity is merely making a connection between sometimes seemingly unconnected things by creating something that's new, that's novel, by seeing a new pattern. And I'm a big believer that all of us do that a lot more than we think we do. I think the challenge comes with by giving creative people special titles and seeing them as different from other people, it becomes a bit of a scary thing. It all depends on what label you give it. All right, hang on. Okay, so. A lot of people who think of creativity, they think of what I like to call big C creativity. And these are the people, these are the geniuses, these are the, the Gaudis in Barcelona or your Einsteins or inventors or artists, you know, people who painted the Sistine Chapel. I think of that as big C creativity. Now, the thing with that is that there are not that many people around. There's only one in, in so many, the, the, their brains are, are wired a bit differently. You don't really find them in business. You don't find them in, in everyday life. But there are people there that just have something about them that makes them see things that other people can't see. We, we, we see them as creative genius. But where does that leave the rest of us? I have a sign on my gate that says, warning genius at work. But I don't know whether I am or not. I think for the rest of us, hang, hang on, hang on. I think for the rest of us, there's also something called small c creativity. And these are everyday little things that we do that are a little bit creative, that are a bit novel, that are a bit different. Even if it's not completely novel to somebody else, it might be novel to you. If you've ever, you know, with your iPhone, you've taken a, you've taken a picture from a creative angle, like through, through flowers of, of your dog, if you ever cook without a recipe, if you ever made a new cocktail by throwing in a different ingredient and finding out what that's like. If you've ever found a new way of running your meeting, I think there's everyday small things that we do. And one of the most beautiful stories I once heard was this, was this um, lady who every day, um, she made her husband's uh, lunchbox and every day she took a little bite out of his sandwich. So every time he got to work and he opened up the lunchbox, he saw a little bite and he had to think of her. So if that is roughly the spectrum, you know, big, big C creativity, genius, only one in so many people like that. And, and small creativity, everyday little things that you can do, walking a different route to work, reading a different book, finding a new way to, to engage with your kids. Those are what I call small creativity, but I think there are things in between for all of us. I think there's something called medium creativity. I just made that up. But maybe this is where you take small creative deeds and you structure them a bit. You get some new tools, you get some new learning, you deliberately fill your brain with inspiration and with new things to come up with new creative work. Now, whether that is art or whether it is an advertisement campaign or whether there's another way to pitch your business plan to investors. But exceptions aside, a lot of people forget that it takes work. You can, you can learn ways to be more creative or to bring out that creativity or to push yourself to come up with new and different things. There's a lot of practice in there. What a lot of people forget is a lot of creative work didn't just come out of somebody's brain like that. It took experience, it took risk taking, it took learning, it took trying new, new and different things. It, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. It's not just something that you are born with or not. I think we can all learn to be a lot more creative. Every day I meet people who have a variety of creative skills and a variety of creative spats that they don't even think about, but they label themselves the wrong way. I was dealing with a group the other day, finance people, and I get the typical, well, I'm just not a creative girl, I'm just not a creative guy, and I think that's really undermining yourself. Even if you are in a role which is not considered a creative role, you can find ways to apply your creativity. I worked with a client a long time ago at a chemical plant and he came to me and said, yeah, I love what you're saying about innovation and creativity, but you, you, you can't tell me that I can just be creative 
around the way we work because if I, if I do that, you know, I might just blow up an entire village. I said, no, I'm not saying that you have to be creative around your safety protocols, but could you be creative in how you communicate those, those safety protocols to your people? Could you find new and creative ways of engaging your clients, of listening to your clients, what it is that they're looking for? Could you find new and creative ways to come up with processes that are much more sustainable and much better for the environment? There is always room for creativity, but you have to want to do it. And if you want to do it, there's a lot of a lot of that is inside you, but you can also learn stuff. The internet is filled with ways to help you express that creativity. It's up to you whether you want to become a big C cre creative genius or whether you just want to focus on everyday little things. I personally think in business, it's often the small C, the little tweaks, the little everyday things that will get you the furthest in the long run. So no more of this, I'm not a creative person or you know, creative, not creative, all that kind of stuff. We all have the ability to be creative, but like I said, it's a muscle. You gotta use it, you gotta work it for it to become stronger. What creative things are you going to do this week? Leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. If you like what we did over here, hit that like button. If you wanna see more of our videos, hit that subscribe button below, and we'll be back here soon with another video. Oh, hang on, hang on. Next video is gonna be from a different location. Anyway, loved seeing you here, wishing you a lovely weekend. I will catch you very soon. Bye, my lovies. Bye. I miss you. Why are you still here, huh? I actually didn't go anywhere. Looks like I'm walking off somewhere, but didn't have anywhere to go. I'm gonna make myself a creative drink and then I'm gonna go uh, for a creative sleep. See you later.